Alright guys, today we're going to continue this little series, I guess, uh, where I'm just out here shooting and I give simple little uh, shooting tips or bow hunting tips and uh, this week we're bringing a, a bow hunting tip where a lot of you guys are, are going to think, man, like duh, uh, it's pretty simple but at the same time very important and I remember when I was first starting out bow hunting, um, I guess I didn't realize this and uh, it, it cost me a few animals and and when I look back at all of all of my successful shots and unsuccessful shots, really the difference lies in this uh, simple cue or one of the differences. And basically, all it is is it's very important to visualize the shot um, right before you draw back and uh, you make the shot on the animal. So you know you have adrenaline pumping when the animal is coming in, and you know your heart's going a million miles an hour. It's hard to think straight. Um, in that situation, especially when it's the, the first couple times you have that happen and you're in so close in that uh, bow hunting range. And basically, uh, you know, after you range it or estimate the range, you need to just think about the shot and think about, you know, which way is that animal facing? Is it quartering two? Um, is it quartering away? Is it broadside? Uh, you need to think about like where the, where the front leg is. If its leg is really far back, it might uh, deflect your arrow. And uh, just think about even something like what pin to use. If you have a multi-pin sight, a lot of times you'll draw back, especially when you're first starting out bow hunting, and you'll see all these pins, and you'll kind of, I mean, I remember the first shot I ever took on an animal, I, I think I drew back, and there I had like a three-pin sight, and they were all like relatively close to the animal, and I was, I mean, I was basically still a little kid, and, uh, you know, you just get them close, and you have that adrenaline pump, and you just get them close, and and you shoot and you then you the animal runs off and you're like what just happened and so if you just take the time to visualize the shot and really slow down your mind to think about what you're doing uh, you're gonna be a lot more successful so that's basically all this tip is you just want to make sure you slow down and uh, really visualize the shot right before you draw back um, it seems like after you draw back you kind of go into autopilot and I know um, you've probably heard this a lot where you where you they say if you shoot so many times over and over again you practice all the time all year the shot becomes second nature and it does and that's true um, the act of shooting should become second nature and you should go on basically autopilot but picking out what pin to use and picking out maybe you need to pin gap and and thinking about where you should place that pin on the animal and uh, just visualizing the shot you need to actually think about and um, I don't hear that tip talked about very often but Hopefully that helped. I know some of you guys are probably saying duh, uh, especially if you're more experienced, but uh, I think it's a, an important thing to share and it'll help out a lot of new archers. So hopefully this helped. If you liked the video, make sure you hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to Brunk Outdoors.